My name is Basti, and welcome to Basti Place Minecraft. This here is my fishing hut. This is my pile of junk. This is the city I'm building. And this is the beautiful Bass Town. But, you know, things didn't always look this way. And today, we are going to take a little peek back in time to how things used to look and how far we've gotten, because this is episode 20. And on these round numbers, I would like to do something nostalgic, like looking back in the past of what this world used to look like. But before we get into that, there's something that needs my attention. You see, I've got this thing in my bob. It is a super smelter, and it's working. It is a working super smelter. Don't get me wrong, it is a working one. But there, it, it's got a few faults. Like, come with me down here. So, it's got this little thing that when you put fuel in, comes all the way down here. It ends up in this chest right here. It says fuel and the cart picks up that amount. And it's usually around probably seven pieces. And there are way more than seven of these furnaces, which means that when I put fuel in, only probably this first one gets the fuel. These ones get nothing. So, I have been thinking and wondering and uh, doing some redstoning to devise a system that lets the minecart stop there to get more fuel out into the system. It took me a little bit, but I, I found I found a solution. It works. I've tested it. It works. And I'm gonna build it right now. So, let me get to that and then we'll talk a bit about what I've actually done to make this work better. Alright? Alright, see you in a bit. Well, 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 what do we have here if it isn't Basti, the redstone genius? And look what I've come up with. You see, this is the state of my super smelter right now. And it's freaking genius. So, how this works is, the minecarts come up here, and with this detection rail and this comparator, it detects if we've got some stuff in the minecart. If there is stuff in minecart, this one goes gadunk, and the minecart goes whew, and it delivers fuel to the system. But we have this filter here feeding into this slot of the comparator. So it won't activate until there is a certain number of items in this minecart. In this case, I have it, this book with uh, 15 pages in it set to page 3, which should equate to about a stack of items. So once this minecart comes in here, it fills up with a stack of items, then this comparator says, oh my god, there is stuff in here, ka -chunk. This lamp turns off and this piston retracts, ka -chunk. And this minecart goes, ka Pretty neat stuff, huh? Well, that's not the end of it, because we do have a second rail. And on this second rail, things get a little bit more complicated because if I were to use this same system for this minecart, there would still be items stuck in this. That is not a big problem with this kind of system. I'm fine with sending a stack at a time and it doesn't really matter too much to me if some fuel are left in there. I mean, when I replenish fuel, there will be more and usually there probably won't be that much fuel stuck in the minecart at one time. I mean, it will be less than a stack anyway, so I think I'll be fine with it. Now, this other system, on the other hand, is to me, freaking genius. So, let me walk you through what this redstone does. Exactly like on the other side, when this minecart comes in, it gets stopped by this piston. And this detector rail and comparator checks if there are any items in the minecart. Currently, there are no items in there, so this line remains off, which means that this redstone torch remains on and the piston is extended. This is the fun part. So when items come in, this hopper fills the minecart. And this comparator says, oh, there's items and this one opens. But we have a comparator checking if there's items in this hopper. And if a comparator sees an item in this hopper, it says the signal strength of one or more, depending on how many items are in the hopper. And this redstone repeater is then boosting this signal to 15. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. So this comparator 
gets a signal strength of 4. Which is crucial because that is the signal strength I want for the filter. That's right. When there is items in this hopper, there is a filter on this comparator. Which means that when I fill this minecart, it won't go rushing away with only like one or two items. It fills up with about over a stack each time and it goes away kajoof, and comes back and goes away and comes back and once this hopper has emptied itself of items into this minecart with a hopper the signal strength goes away and this filter turns off meaning that this minecart as long as it has items in it can continue delivering stuff to the rest of the system meaning that it would evenly spread items all across here as long as there is items to deliver. And this is the perfect system for this super smelter. I could do the same system for this side. It would get bulky and it would be a lot of redstone and I don't feel like I really need it. But you know, it's a really cool solution. Man, I feel like a genius sometimes. So, we fixed some stuff. That's cool. I told you I was gonna give you updates and when I fix stuff, I kind of planned on not doing it for a while but man it was it was bothering me that I, that I didn't finish it you know that I that it still didn't work super well so I finished it now let's give this puppy a test run huh all right people I have some fuel right here yeah I've gotten some coal don't ask where and let's let's be honest we all know what I'm gonna use this thing for it's potatoes it's mostly just potatoes so anyways let's fuel this puppy up and let's go for a ride so we grab some fuel that is some fuel we put that into the fuel chest all right so fuel is in there and that means the minecart is getting filled up and once it's ready to go the piston releases and the minecart shoots away at a blistering speed filling all of the furnaces on its way perfect the fuel system works you see it's waiting there until it's got about a stack in it and then it just goes away perfect that is working as intended now let's try the more important system this input line we so we put our main smelting resource which is of course potatoes put that in there let's go down and look look it gets filled and then it... Oh my god. And then away it goes with a blistering speed. Wow, incredible stuff. Alright, we can watch it in real life now. Look. Whee! And it gets loaded up with stuff and you can hear already shooting up items in our hopper elevator. Wow. Whew. Everything is working as it should. This minecart stops to reload. This minecart stops to reload. Look at it. Gets item. Now this one is empty. Now this is where the interesting stuff happens. Look. Now when it comes back, since there are no items in there, it's gonna leave immediately. That is exactly what it should do. Awesome! Let's go back up and look at our output. Man, this redstone stuff, it's just a hassle, isn't it? But when it works, it's so nice. And in our output, so far, we got a few baked potatoes. But don't worry, with a little movie magic, this output chest will magically be... And look! All of the beautiful baked potatoes is back. That is freaking, freaking sweet. And this will now work with larger quantities of stuff. I even put all of the coal I had into the system. So we should be good for smelting for a while. I can also see this becoming quite useful when we're supposed to smelt some glass. Which I'm gonna need soon in quite extreme amounts. Yeah. Now, let's move on to other stuff. Please. I am so fed up with redstone at this point. Hi, my name is Basti. Welcome to Basti Place Minecraft. Oh, damn, camera angles, camera angles. What you just watched is the intro of Basti Place Minecraft Episode 1. 
And as you can tell, some things have happened since then. I am a bit better of a content creator than I was back then, half a year ago, when I first pressed upload on my very first video on this channel. I'm way more comfortable speaking now in front of my monitor and in front of you guys. <laughs> it's, uh, it's quite a drastic change, really. At least to me, I sound so nervous when speaking there. And I was, I was super nervous making my first video. I really wanted to make one for a long time and I was finally doing it and it felt so strange. I felt like, how could I ever be comfortable doing this? But you know what, only half a year later, I am feeling quite comfortable doing it. I am way more of a goofball now than I was then. And it shows, and I love it. It's the way I am. So that's the way it's supposed to be, you know? Just be yourself. And that is hard, you know? That is probably, that is some strange advice, isn't it? Be yourself. That's like saying to someone, don't think of the color red. What is red? Then you start thinking of red, okay, you know? Kind of not, actually. That is a bad analogy, honestly. Or someone just say, walk normally. What, 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 how do you walk normally? Then you start questioning, what is normal? How do I even walk? Like, uh, you start tripping over your own legs, you know? So just, you know, still, be yourself. You, you'll grow into it, don't worry. If you're making content, if you're starting making content, you'll grow into it, don't worry. <laughs> it gets way more comfortable. It sure helps, though, that I've always been a theater kid, you know? But as I said, things have certainly changed around here. For one, we have a light dry and can fly around now. We have a bed and a place to live. And also there's a city over there, or at least half of one. <laughs> and there's an old town up there. And there's farms everywhere. And you know, a lot of stuff can happen in 20 episodes and half a year. Although it's, I've, I've done a lot in half a year, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> I've played a lot of Minecraft these last six months. <laughs> but what I thought we could do is we could check out what things used to look like. I have in my Minecraft folder a untouched version of this world. So I thought, why don't we go into that one and have a look and compare how things used to look to how it looks now. Because it's one thing to say, oh, this didn't used to be here. Oh, this didn't used to be here. Oh, this was totally different before. And actually seeing the difference. So how about we boot into that world and go have a look at what the Bastet Place Minecraft world looked like half a year ago when I first started this YouTube journey. So let's teleport, shall we? Three two, one, go. Here we are in the untouched world. And uh, things are looking different, like quite different indeed. One thing to mention at first, there's a lot more trees than it is now. Let's get back to spawn. Spawn is right over here somewhere. Wait, do I even find my way here? Hello? Oh, there's water here. I wonder if there's water still in my world. I might have covered that up already. I think I might have. Yeah. Spawn should be somewhere around here, though. Yeah, right around here. Look, this is where spawn is. I mean, there's not a big difference right here. I mean, I guess there are a bit fewer trees in the best place Minecraft world, but not a lot. Look, out here I did my first kind of like, Hi, my name is Basti, I'm doing stuff. Blah, 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 yap, 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 yap. You can't see where the city would be because there's too much trees. We removed that on stream one time. When I first started this world, one of the first things I did was I did a cave right here. Do any of you remember that? That I, there's a, there's a door right here, right in these blocks. That's like the first thing I did. And then I dug myself a hole in there as well. Let's do the first episode things, you know? We went this way. I think we went out here and got attacked by some uh, Schleetens. Right around here somewhere. Let's go to the boat. We might find some potatoes. I love potatoes. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. You made me kill all the beautiful flowers. Oh. Oh. Look at how many trees there are. There's so much trees here. That's why I didn't see the village, you know? When I first started. Oh my lord, I need to get the bed. I forgot that we're playing survival. This is a proper episode one recreation. Except for that I don't need food. I got that covered. Uh, yeah, we need an axe. That's good. 
We got all we need to kill some sheep. Hello, sheep. I just need a bed so I can get on with this thing. Hello, sheep. Sheep. Oh, this is exactly like the first episode, huh? Looking for sheep for ages. Man, there was a lot of forest here. There was a lot, a lot of forest here. Man, we've done some tree cutting, haven't we? Whoosh. All of this is gone in my world. All of it. There's not a single tree here. And look, all of that tree as well. This is where the city is. All of these houses now are gone except that one. Another thing that is a big difference in this world and mine is that there are actually villagers in there now. Or there should be at least. Oh, beehive. Schleten. Those guys are freaking... They're gonna freak me up. Move out of the way. I forgot how annoying it is not having an elytra and being able to just go escape. Oh my god. Why are there so many spiders there? Jesus. I know there's a bed in here. I know you keep a bed in there. Give it. No, but there's armor. Hey, I think I did this in the first episode too. <laughs> uh, do you mind if I use a bed, please? Anyone? Thank you. I'm gonna keep this bed and this is gonna be the travel bed. But look, this, ah, this is the village. This is what it used to look like. Do you recognize where all the stuff is? Oh my God, I remember now. There's water there. I cleared that up and I filled that in. And look, this, this was connected in the beginning. This is where I have my fishing hut we built last episode. Well, we know that, we know that. Out here, this is where I have my hole in the wall shop, you know? This is the road coming up towards the bridge. It's so weird coming up here, not seeing a city. In this crevice, I think, is where I have my mine. I don't know if you've seen it in my videos, but there's a little, what's it called? A trap door in the road in my bastard place world and uh, that is my way to get down to the mines this is right in there oh look we filled in so much space you gotta get a frame of reference there there's no ocean goat though is that exclusive to my world maybe this is where i have the tunnel leading into the cave part except there's no cave part <laughs> there there's just no cave part it's just all open. We covered this in like a few episodes ago. This is so crazy looking at it. I've done so much. I've done so much building. Okay, so right in there is where I have the moss farm and the super smelter. Well, we can do this. Look, in here, this is the entrance to the moss farm and this is where the super smelter is. The terraforming is wild. This was just half a year ago. All of this is half a year ago. Do you believe that? Would you believe it if I showed you a picture of my world right now? And this? Would you believe that's half a year apart? <laughs> I mean, kind of, but it's a lot of Minecraft. It's a lot of Minecraft to do it. A lot of stuff has happened. This was a grind to remove, may I say. It was several hours to remove all of these trees and just flatten this ground. The time lapse of it is kind of wild. It's like, I think three hours condensed into a like 15 second clip <laughs> but that's the nature of content creation right some things take a short amount of time and most of it is shown and other things like when i build stuff that's hours of work condensed into like a minute long song and a time lapse i need to put up some like before and after stuff while going through here so i'm gonna do some time lapse files of this and just some like drone shots of before and after it's kind of cool what's happened here i'd say it's a prettier area i mean i missed the bridge here there, it's hard to get over on the other side now let's see if binky's up there can we find binky does binky generate that would have been cool but that's just random generation right <gasps> no it's not hello binky what I'm gonna say you're Binky, because this is exactly where I found Binky in my world. Oh yeah, no, come on, come on. Horse, 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 stop horsing around. Yeah, yeah, you like me. Come on, hearts. Holy, you are, you do not want to be tamed, huh? Yeah, best friends forever. I don't have a saddle though, unfortunate. Well. I'm just gonna leave you there. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Close your eyes, people. I'm gonna cheat. Yeah. That wasn't too bad. Oh, you're as slow as Binky, too. Can you jump as high? 
Yeah, basically, you're a basic clone of Binky. Wow. Imagine finding him here, huh? Oh, this is the way up. This is where I did, it, like, a, one of the first time lapses. Where I dug for coal and stuff in there. Man, this is so different. This is so, so different. <laughs> this is Bass Town. <laughs> yep, this is Bass Town. I used to jump around a, a lot on these blocks right here. Like this. Of course, I don't think these exist anymore. Not in the same way, because there's a building here now. This is where my home is. This is where the rocket shop is. And up here, this is the villager trading hall. Here's my starter base. I think this place here is the iron farm. I flattened this land quite a lot. And this is where the armory is. But you can see as well, out here. I've only shown this like once in a video. Where, when I actually built it. But there's a staircase right here now. Oops. Time to sleep, sleep, sleep. Things certainly are different here, huh? It's been a while since we looked out over this edge and saw this. This is so cool. Don't you agree, Binky? You haven't seen the horrors that the real Binky has, but man. It's nice to find a friend, you know? And also, no strange animals on the cliffside either. This is an uncursed one, huh? Look, there's no horse, no ham, no bacon. No Grebo, you know? There's none of that. I guess my world is better, you know? Nothing beats the Basti Place Minecraft world, huh? It feels like home at this point. So much has changed. I think that building still stands, though. Those two buildings, I removed them when I built the bridge over to there. Oh, there's a staircase down there now. Trappor. Yeah, that's where Trappor goes. Man. Oh, there's a hole right there. Out here, right out here is where... The dragon tower is, you know, the, 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 I killed the dragon tower. It's right here, right where I am at right now. Just go straight out there. One thing though, I gotta say that is better than the, than the best place plays Minecraft world is that there's no, there's no raid farm out there. I, I don't miss it. Looking out like this, I don't miss the raid farm. Not even the slightest, you know, it's, it's truly an eyesore that raid farm. I gotta move it at some point, but I will, I will move it. Don't worry, I'll move it. At some point. <laughs> it's cool seeing how much I've done. Like, just removing all of these trees. Like, up until that birch forest right there. That is the cutoff line. Up until that point, I removed all of these trees. All of them. And not to mention the terraforming that's been going on right there. That is so cool. <laughs> I'm doing the thing from when I did the Hermitcraft reaction video, you know? Oh my god, look at this. What? That's so cool. That's so cool. <laughs> what, what else can I say? It's cool. And especially knowing the secrets. Like, I know where the caves are. Like, there's a nether portal right there. That's the one we use. That's the one we currently use. That's my nether portal. I'm gonna do something cooler with it. I'm probably gonna do some kind of a way to get to it. Not really a bridge, but a, a road along the mountain. I'm gonna do more work here at Bass Town. I'm getting inspired to do stuff here. But we do have a city to build. And that is my main priority right now, because I'm I'm loving it. When I'm not recording and building stuff, I'm just walking around the city, looking at things. <laughs> you know, a lot of stuff has happened, and I'm gonna show you that right now by doing the drone shots I promised earlier. So, Basti, if you will do the honor, please roll some beautiful drone footage of what this place used to look like, and what we've achieved in 20 episodes at least 500 hours played and half a year. In three, two, one, roll the montage.
You know, I enjoyed that very much. And it's fun to look back sometimes. Sometimes you have to look back in order to appreciate how far you've come, right? And speaking of how far I've come, this is a special episode in many ways. First off, it marks my first half year of doing YouTube. Second off, it's the 20th episode of Basti Plays Minecraft. And we're also celebrating, hold on to your horses, 300 subscribers on the channel. Which is pretty dang cool. And with that said, I would like to first of all say thank you so, so much to all of you who have been watching me this first half year. It's been so fun making videos for all of you. And I look forward to making lots, lots more. And I can't wait to celebrate one year on YouTube with you all. 300 subscribers. That is not nothing. That is 300 people watched a video and thought, hey, this is good enough that I'll want more. And that is a cool, cool thing. I really want you guys to understand that I really appreciate every single subscriber on this channel. It's a lot of hard work to make these videos. It really means a lot that so many of you like it enough that you want more of it and keep tuned when I post videos. That is a really awesome thing for any creator. Now for something a little less fun, a little more fun, and a little bit of reality. The thing is, as a lot of people know, this is what I do for fun. This is what I do anytime I'm not working, and that is the thing, I am working as well. So recently, I have not been able to keep up the a video a week kind of schedule that I had in the beginning, that I've had for most of this half year, I will try to do it as much as I can, but you know, I'm not gonna work myself to death over it. I'm gonna post videos as much as I can, and that's gonna have to be the way it is for a while. When I can post weekly videos, I will get back to it. Videos will be coming, and they will be coming as often as I can. Sometimes it might be weekly, sometimes probably not. But that's just the way it is. So that means less Basti, but we will have Basti. We will have lots and lots of Basti. Don't worry about it. Another thing, don't be surprised if this is the last Basti Place Minecraft video for a while. Just keep in mind, for a while. And it's, it's not because of sad reasons. No, 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 no. On the other hand, it, it's actually for something quite fun. You know, th this is fun and all. We've built some pretty cool stuff here in the Basti Place Minecraft world, and I intend on keeping this my single-player world that I do stuff in. I probably won't start another one for the foreseeable future. So we will do lots and lots more here in this world. But me and some friends have a project that we want to get rolling, and that is a Minecraft SMP. That's right, we're gonna do multiplayer. We're gonna have a world where me and some other people can have fun together. And Minecraft really is the most fun when doing it with someone. In this single player world, well, I've, I've, I've brought people over, but that's not really the same thing. They're not here most of the time. That's when I invite them over for special occasions. So, you know, all the progress is done by me. No one else has built anything in this world. Although it's really fun, and I got you guys to keep me company, and of course the ocean goat, not to mention him, but it will be a lot of fun doing something together with other people. So keep your eyes open because, well, there might be a new multiplayer server appearing on this channel, hopefully quite soon. Now, let's cut this sappy music and let's go build some stuff. How about that, huh? <laughs> you thought we we're gonna have a Basti video without me building anything? <laughs> Get over yourself. Come on now, let's go do something. How about an entire new dock area right about here? I'm thinking let's have a crane coming up from this thing. Let's do a little docking area right here. 
have some piers going out there, maybe a building, maybe some loading areas, maybe some roads. Maybe we got big plans, baby. Now, what is a dock without a platform to walk on? It's just some planks in the water, I suppose. And when we have a platform, we need some walls. And they need to extend all the way to the ground, baby. Now this is looking beautiful, but we need some place to dock our boat, so there you go. Alright, first part of dock is done, and it is looking great if you ask me. And who other would you ask, huh? There's only me here. Anyways, we need to get on with things. First of all, we need some piers. And I think one of them should be right about here. And look at what a beauty she is. Wow, that thing is sturdy. Now, we got a whole lot of building to do, so let's just slap down another pier right here. Awesome! This is just what we wanted! Look at it! It's so beautiful! But there's a problem. What? What problem, Basti? What are you talking about? Well, how are we supposed to get up there? It's way too tall! It's way too tall! Don't worry, I've got a solution. It's our old friend, Trapur. You remember Trapur, right? They look something like this. That's pretty cool. Like, I mean, it's stairs, it's Trapur. You know, you can whoop, and we can get all the way up here. Wow, that's amazing. But you know what? This place looks like it's missing a little something, a little bit of a, a pizzazz. Let me add some right now. Well, you know, this whole thing didn't look very OSHA approved, so we slapped up some retaining walls to keep all of that dirt from cascading down on to the loading area of the dock. And besides, I think they look pretty cute. Phew, man, building is tough work. You know what? Oh, that's exhausting. Maybe we should slow it down just a tad, you know? Take it easy, maybe put some relaxing music. Take it slow, chill out, you know, just vibe. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Let's put on something chill and just relax our way through the next stage of the building. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. <laughs> Did you believe me? Time for part two, baby! Woo! Man, we still got lots of things to do. We still got some decorating, we got buildings, we got building to do. Let's go for a ride. This dock area is turning into a bit of a project, but I'm happy with where we've gotten so far. I mean, everything is looking really nice. Really, really, really nice, actually, now that I have a second look at it. But we're not done. We're not done yet. No, no, no. We still got two more things to add, and they're not small. Well, one of them is. The other one, not so much. But it is the detail that is gonna bring this whole thing to life and make it really feel like a dock area. And what we're about to add is two cranes. One right here of a smaller variety and one right out there reaching high into the sky. I think it will be awesome. So you know what? Let's do a third and final time-lapse for this video 
and this time we'll actually slow it down a little bit. So, without further ado, the last two cranes of this building project, and then we're done with this area. And I can't wait to see how it looks. Alright, you ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, this dock is the first part of what is to be the more industrial area of the city. And although it's industrial, it is, at least to my eyes, looking really, really good. Don't mind that. I might have some torches left here and there from, from when building this. I, I got a bit assaulted by creepers and whatnot. I blew up more than I built, I felt like. But still, we got through it. And let me show you something pretty beautiful. Something I did when building this, you will notice it when walking out here. The view with the cranes is kind of majestic. Walking down Main Street here and coming out. Look at this. Now that is a view. <laughs> I love that so much, coming out here and seeing the cranes like this. That is so cool. I'm gonna put buildings here and there, but I want to keep this view. This is just something else. It looks good from here as well. I made sure that this would look pretty good from a lot of angles. And look at this. You see the one crane there and one there. This dock area is really, really, really cool. And it was a massive grind to do. But that is what we do here on the Bastard channel. We grind, we do not optimize, uh, we do not automate either. But man, do we thrive. The, the only goat about this operation is that one. The, the, the ocean kind. Yeah. We're, we're not Doc M over here. We do a bit of redstone, but mostly we just mess around and make bad choices. That That's the Basti channel. Woo! Anyways, Doc area looking fantastic, if you ask me. And, well, you know, I built it. I would know. <laughs> At some point, we're going to have to clear up all these shulker boxes. But, man, this city is going places. Imagine when we get more buildings out this way. Look at how much space there is. Okay, please hold here. Look at the amount of space we built on and the amount of space we've got left. We still got some building to do here in this city. But man, this world to me means a lot. Because as we've discussed earlier in this video, it's my entry to YouTube. It's the first thing I've done on, on YouTube. Officially, let's just add that. There might be other stuff I've done in the past, but I was young then. I was young and dumb. This is a bit more serious than that. This is something I really want to do. And judging by the way things are going, I am super excited for the future of this channel and this world. Which, as I said, I want to continue for a long time still. But the next one might be something different. Be ready for that this might be the last Basti place, Minecraft, for a little bit. But I will always return here. After all, this place is home. And we got big plans, baby. I hope you like the more in intense, zany stuff I've done today. It's I, I've, I've been loving it. It's so much fun to do. So, wonderful people. Keep an eye out for a new multiplayer server popping up in your YouTube recommended feed. I don't have a name for it yet, but I'll let you know somehow. If not, well, you'll see it. It's It'll be my name on it, and it won't be Best to Place Minecraft. Anyways, click on it, watch it, have fun, enjoy it. As you've done with this video, dear viewer, thank you so much for watching Best to Place Minecraft episode 20. Insane.
And before we end this video with some beautiful views and the classic outro music you all know and love, which is my own song, by the way, which I will be releasing at some point, with vocals, by the way. Thank you so much for watching. It means a lot to me. And whoever you are, I wish you a good day, morning, night, or whatever it is, wherever you are. Until I see you next, in whatever form it is, bye!